Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new update for Unify Access. This brings some small changes, but changes that are really helpful for my customers. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Access Consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, I do have affiliate links in the description below. First, let's see what we're going to be connecting together within Unify Access. I have the UDM Pro acting as the Access OS, and that is connecting to my 16 port PoE light switch. In this diagram, I'm showing a 24 port Pro PoE switch because that's what you should be using as it has PoE++. Then connecting down from the switch, it's going into our Unify Access Hub and we have both the readers, the Reader Lite and the Reader Pro. And then we have a bunch of different accessories. So one of the new updates allows you to put an external chime. So if somebody clicks the ring button on the Reader Pro, it will ring to this chime. And I bought a cheap one off of Amazon, which is just a 12 volt. I also have a request to exit motion attached as well as an electric strike. Another small update that they provided, but it's been needed for a very, very long time is on the reader light. We could see that it has the blue light around it. We now have the ability to turn that off as well as the sound. A lot of my customers have these request to exit motions on the inside of their door. So when they walk up to it, it just disengages the strike instead of them having to turn the handle. But the problem was every time you walk past this motion, it would trigger the sound on the reader light and we become very annoying. And I will show you that. And another small change is when we swipe in on the Reader Pro, it will capture a video, which it never did that before. So now let's go over to my side desk and get all the accessories and the strikes connected together in the UA Hub. All right, so we have the UA Hub here and we need to get this plugged into the switch to get it powered on. We can see that the white light is blinking and this is already adopted into my Unify Access Controller. Once we get everything plugged in, we will take a look at how to configure it. The next thing I'm gonna plug in is the electric strike and this is gonna to go into our powered 12 volt one amp with the electric strike powered on we now need to get our reader so this is where the reader light is going to go and this is where the reader pro on this last port that is where you could put a camera if you're going to use one now this is the request to exit motion that i got off of amazon and we just have a station wire or a four conductor wire here so we need to get that connected into our ua hub and this will be powered by the UA hub because it's a 12 volt. So at the top here, we have 12 volt, 33 amp, and we're going to put the red in the positive and then the black in the negative. With those connected, we're going to put our communication wires in our request to exit, which is the Rex. So now that we have the request to exit motion set up, I'm going to show you just how annoying the sound of the UA light could get. So I'll grab the reader and then I'll wave my hand in front of it a few times. Now, just by hearing that, it is very annoying. I'll turn the sound off and we'll still be able to see the UA light flashing. That means we'll be able to get in, but the sound won't go off. Now I've turned the sound off for the UA light and we could see that it's currently a solid blue. I'm gonna wave my hand in front of this motion again and it should just flash without making a sound. And as you can see, it's doing the flash once the motion is going and there's no sound going through. So that's a big improvement. And the last thing that we'll be connecting is this doorbell. This is a 12 volt doorbell that I bought off of Amazon and I have the cabling connected all with these little wagos as the cabling on this was fairly short. So this desk is getting a little bit messy, but we need to plug our powered cables into the powered 12 volt 33 amp. Now we have our power connected. I have these two other cables, which are our communication cables. They are red and black as well. Typically they are yellow and green, and we need to plug those into our request to enter or the run. Now I have the doorbell connected to the UA hub. What we need to do, we need to go to our reader pro, press the doorbell button and then swipe to call. There is a bit of a delay on the doorbell. So I'll swipe to call. You can see it's calling and it's still not ringing. It's about two rings, then this will start going off. And you could hear that the doorbell is now going off and it was pretty loud depending on the doorbell that you go with. And this will be great for people who need it in extra places in their businesses. Now you see how everything's connected together and we could hear the sounds of the doorbell. Let's go back to the computer and I'll show you how we get this configured. All right, now we're back at the computer. So let's see how we configure this. We need to make sure that our Unify Access Hub is on firmware version 4.0.14.15 and our reader light is on 3.8.34.0 and our reader pro would be at 2.2.158. First, we'll take a look at our UA light because this is very easy to configure. So we'll click on it and then we'll go over to our settings wheel. 
To turn off the sound, all we need to do is hit this toggle switch. And to turn the display brightness down or up, all we need to do is bring it to whichever level we would want it to be at. Some people want it to have no LED showing at all. I like the LED showing so that I know it's online. Now to get the external doorbell working, we need to do that on the UA hub. So I'll click on my main door and then go to ports. For the UA Pro video recording, it wasn't for when somebody swipes in, it's for when somebody pressed the doorbell. We now have the option to allow it to record that video. And you could set the video times from five seconds all the way up to 10 seconds. So that's gonna be it for this video on the Unify Access update. It was very small changes, but changes that were needed. The sound on the UA light drove some of my customers crazy, and now I'm glad that we could disable them. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.